half. Chelsea in the post a couple of times as well. But in the end, Mauricio Pochettino's side, the 1-0 win. That's uh, three Premier League victories in a row. That lifts them actually up to eighth in the table. Uh, still a long way away from Champions League football next season. So, Stevie, for people who didn't watch this game, how would you describe it? I would describe them as lucky. <laughs> The people that never watched it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I would do. that's what I would describe as. I wish I was one of them. Oh. Yeah, this is this was same old. I mean, same old, same old. Yeah. Just, just what a frustrating yeah. team to watch. I mean, they can pass the ball around. What, what, what frustrates you the most about it? Well, because you know there's going to be nothing on the end of anything. Right. I mean, you. Yeah. You know, Raheem Sterling, although he was offside, had a chance with a header that he should have put away in his sleep. But he hit the post. And it's not a surprise. Bro had a chance. Put it wide. It's, you don't, you're, you're watching a team playing knowing there's going to be nothing on the end of it. And the way they're winning games, it seems as like mistakes by the opposition. Like the penalty, for example, as, as well taken as the penalty is... I don't, this would have been nil-nil because it's going to be penalties and free kicks. That's how Chelsea are going to win games because they, they don't create open chances. They create half chances. Right. They create some opportunities. You're not walking away watching Chelsea ever going, wow, they should have scored two or three. You know, it, it's just the same old, same old and nothing's changed. Uh, and, and nothing <laughs> looks like it's changing. Frank, you said you had to keep stopping the City game when you were watching on record. Did you just fast forward this one in five minutes? Bish, bash, bosh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one, I, I watched it live. It was earlier, so... Uh, but really, I don't know. There is something about the games that you have to watch at 1.30 p.m. for me, 12.30 uh, uh, for in England. Uh, those games are not good games. <laughs> and uh, Especially when you see the, the, the tens against the 13s. It doesn't occur of something good, you know, to watch. Uh, really, uh, that was, again, uh, um, an appalling for me performance. Only Palmer gave me hopes that something can, uh, good can come off, uh, come out from, from a player. But otherwise, uh, again, it's predictable. It's nothing special. They don't create anything. They don't change the pace. Uh, Fulham was better in the first half. I have to say they had chances. They had they had they had the best chances. Um, but again, it's so it's so slow. It's so much of nothing. Can you imagine that? Is that three years ago that Chelsea won the Champions League against Manchester City? And you see the two teams and the differences between the two teams. It's like two level of leagues difference. That's absolutely crazy. What Chelsea lost in three years and what City gained in three years. That's, that's crazy. I don't recognize my club. I don't recognize my, the, 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 how do you say, the character of the, of the team that I used to play in and used to see after that. That's not what I want to see. I mean, it's an academy team uh, with only Thiago Silva being old uh, and, and mature and experienced, but otherwise, really. But look, yeah, Frank, nothing. three wins in a row. Fulham, Luton Town and Crystal Palace. Giants of the game. Yeah, OK. <laughs> that's, that's, that's normal. That's normal. That's Chelsea, uh, after all, you know. And it's Fulham, with all due respect, Luton Town and Crystal Palace. But what's going to happen, I think it's very soon that they're going to play against Liverpool or they have to go to Liverpool. So we're going to see. But really, it's, it's hard to watch. It's hard to watch because you, of course, you... You, you want them to, to do something well, you support them, uh, but as a pundit, I, I have the duty to say, that's not good. That's not good enough. It's the same old, as, uh, as TV said, you exactly know what's going to happen, which means they get the ball, they keep the ball, I don't know, they get maybe something special, uh, 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 some sweetness, you know, after, after every hundred passes, but that's <laughs> it. They don't do anything. They, they, it's just, it's like they want to do, the only, the, the only thing they want to do during the whole 90 minutes is to keep the ball and to make it turn, and that's it. it it's, I, I like how Frank blames the time. Yeah. <laughs> Chelsea had a 12.30 kick-off, but 
So the whole problem is all the clocks <laughs> in Stanford Bridge are broken. <laughs> that's that's, that's all, the problem. The because because it, it doesn't seem to matter what time we get the same old Chelsea. But it's we'll just such time. a juxtaposition, and I know there are different levels, different standards to what we saw in the late, late game. Yeah. To, to this, it, it's a different sport almost. It, 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 it really was. It really was that awful. It, 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 and while, you know, I, I guess from a Chelsea perspective, you're happy, you, you got three points, all of a sudden now you're eighth, you're above the likes of Manchester United and, and, and Newcastle. But, but let's be honest, I mean, I, I, that was as, as bad a game of football as, as you could hope to see. And, the, the, and you, every time you talk about Chelsea, you have to add the context of how much a squad costs to put together. And you, you see absolutely <laughs> nothing about promise about things are turning around at the Pochettino, that they have some kind of an identity. It, it really has, is turning into, let's see who can bore the other to death. And, and um, when the opposition falls asleep, we, we sneak a goal, which kind of, oh, how Jesse got that penalty today.